हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवन फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 92 ए फेक व्हाट्सएप मैसेज इज इन सर्कुलेशन दैट टॉक्स अबाउट द गवर्नमेंट्स कंट्रोल ओवर द इंस्टेंट मैसेजिंग एप्लीकेशन द मैसेज क्लेम्स दैट टू ब्लू टिक्स एंड वन रेड टिक मींस द गवर्नमेंट कैन टेक एक्शन व्हाइल थ्री रेड टिक्स विल मीन द गवर्नमेंट हैज स्टार्टेड कोर्ट प्रोसीडिंग्स अगेंस्ट यू दिस इज फॉल्स एज व्हाट्सएप हैज नॉट मेड एनी चेंजेस टू इट्स सिस्टम टू इन्फॉर्म यूजर्स अबाउट द डिलीवरी ऑफ मैसेजेस थ्रू टिक्स अकार चेक मार्क्स The misleading message comes amid the legal fight between WhatsApp and the government over the recently introduced IT rules in the country. Dot has finally approved spectrum bands for conducting 5G trials in the country. The Telecom Ministry allocated 700 megahertz, 3.5 gigahertz and 26 gigahertz band to Reliance Jio, Airtel and Vodafone Idea to start the trials. Dot has not allowed Chinese vendor to participate in the trials which mean none of the telecom operator is allowed to partner with them. Researchers say they have figured out the maximum lifespan for humans. They concluded that with perfect health, human could live to anywhere between 120 and 150 years as detailed in a study published this week in a journal Nature Communication. Those ages they say can only be achieved by humans lucky enough to make it through life without major health issues like cancer or heart disease. It is instead meant to estimate how long the natural process of aging takes over a human lifespan. A fascinating look at the resilience of the human body. In the study a team of researchers at Singapore based company Zero looked at the pace of aging examining residents of US UK and Russia Twitter has been rumored to launch a paid subscription service with features such as undo tweets. It is reportedly going to be called as Twitter Blue. This is now been confirmed by Twitter itself through its app page in the iOS App Store. Twitter Blue will be priced at $2.29 that is approximately 177 Indian rupees per month in the US. Paytm plans to launch India's biggest IPO later this year. Paytm housed under Vijay Shankar Sharma's own 97 communication is targeting a valuation of around 25 billion dollars to 30 billion dollars from an IPO that it aims to launch around November. Poco India just posted a video on YouTube teasing the next F will be coming soon. The phone will be called as Poco F3 GT and according to the 28 second clip will be powered by a Dimensity 1200 chipset. The arrival date is not set but the low resolution video says coming quarter 3 which is anywhere between July 1st and September 30. Last year at Google for India virtually when top company executive announced that Google will bring a new affordable 5G smartphone in partnership with Reliance Jio. CEO Sundar Pichai now reveals more details about the upcoming smartphone which is a result of Google Jio collaboration. During a virtual conference with select reporters from Asia specific Pichai highlighted that Google is working closely with the telecom giant to bring the promised affordable smartphone. OnePlus has introduced a new wallpaper app for Android users, enabling users to understand the number of hours they use their phone and which app they use the most. In a more creative way, the app has been developed by a new OneLab team that recently introduced a clipped app for enabling clipboards like functionality across multiple devices. The new wallpaper app, a play on the words well-being and wallpaper, bringing three dynamic live wallpapers that keep changing based on your smartphone usage data, allowing you to visualize and better understand your day-to-day Today, phone screen time. It seems Oppo is finally ready to offer a successor to last year's Oppo Watch. The brand took to Weibo to tease its Watch 2 series. The official teaser hints a longer battery life and an announcement schedule for the second half of this year. This watch could be powered by the Snapdragon VR 4100 platform alongside with a custom Apollo 4S secondary chipset. The Watch 2 series is expected to offer color OS for watch based on Android Oreo 8.1 alongside a secondary real-time operating system RTOS for extended battery life. Earlier this month an official survey by Realme revealed that brands plan for laptops. Now the company is back again with another survey which suggests that it could switch back to color OS for its smartphones. For those who don't know Realme started as a sub-brand of Oppo hence the company's initial smartphones ran color OS based on Android. Due to the brand's huge success it was soon spun off into an independent brand under Hoja Holding which includes an Oppo and OnePlus. Since then Realme phones have been running on Realme UI a fork of color Color OS the company version of the Android skin was released in 2019 then in September 20 the company unveiled Android 12 based Realme UI 2.0 
A brand new budget Realme phone has appeared in the FCC listing revealing its design and a few key specifications. It had to be announced Realme RMX3261 was previously seen in the databases of TKDN, BIS and Indonesia Telecom which combined with today's listing confirmed the launch date is nearing. The RMX3261 sport a water drop notch display and a three camera cutouts on the back alongside with a LED flash. The schematics also show a rear mounted fingerprint scanner and a triple SIM slot. Vivo, the Chinese smartphone brand, is reportedly working on the company's first tablet device which could soon get launched in the market. While Vivo has not yet confirmed this, an image of the device design has surfaced online. This music will be eternal. The rise in price for electronics manufacturers are not ready to be Robin Hoods to give away their smartphones at a loss. Of course, it is easier to say that smartphone companies are very greedy guys. That is why they tirelessly increase the cost of their devices in order to fill their pockets more and more. But alas, component manufacturers are also pushing towards an inevitable rise in price for electronics. The market deficit also contributes to an inflation. The rise in price will continue and in the second half of the year, we will have to get used to the new price tags for smartphones. Vice President of Realme warned about this to a wide audience. In an interview, he said that at the beginning of the year, there will be an acute shortage of 5G chips among which is Snapdragon 8 processor and a Snapdragon 870 platforms were in short supply. There was also a shortage of 4G processors. In addition, the top manager of Realme noted that there was an increase in prices for memory components for charging adapters and other components. On an average, there will be adding 10% of the price. Amazon has quietly rolled out a new feature on its platform in India. This new feature is aimed at promoting users to spend more time on its e-retail platform. The company has launched a featured article such as on its web-based platform and on its Android and iOS-based application. This feature is tucked away in the Kindle Store section of the platform and it gives users access to featured articles, commentary and opinion on a variety of topics including trending articles, entertainments, politics, governments and many more. Microsoft has launched the Surface Laptop 4 in India. The new notebooks was arrived two screen options such as 13.5 inch and 15 inch. Both models carry support at 3 is to 2 aspect ratio. These notebooks are powered by AMD Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7 and 11th generation of Intel Core i5 and i7 processor. The Surface Laptop 4 is a 3 is to 2 pixels and touchscreen display. It offers up to a 16 GB of RAM and 512 GB of SSD storage. The notebook runs on Windows 10 and comes with a support window Hello face recognition thanks for watching this video please kindly support my channel by giving a like share and subscribe and follow dg integrity on twitter instagram and facebook